how to load firmware and configure MLO for IPQ9574. Welcome back to Wally Stack. In today's video, we'll walk you through the process of loading firmware and configuring MLO for the IPQ9574 board. If you're setting up advanced hardware, this guide will help you get everything up and running smoothly. Let's dive in. First, we'll connect the hardware. You'll need a UART cable, and here's how to connect the pins. GND connects to the black cable, TX to the white cable, RX to the green cable. Remember, VCC is not needed. Once that's connected, we can move on to the software configuration. Next, we'll load the firmware. Make sure the firmware file is in the same folder as TFTPD32. Follow these steps. 1. Open the terminal and enter U-boot mode. 2. Modify the mashit and configure the card slots. If you're using the DR9274-2G, DR9274 at 5G, and DR9274 6G modules, input the following commands. Open the TFTB32 tool and input the following command to reflash the firmware. Finally, input reset to reboot the system and proceed with AP configuration. Now, we'll configure the access points AP. After the reboot, log in as root with the password ASDF1234. Then, input the following command to edit the wireless configuration file. Modify the AP settings as needed. Here's an example configuration. Once done, press ESC, then Shift-ZZ to save and exit. To finalize the setup, enable the configuration by typing Wi-Fi. Then check if the radios are up by entering IWconfig. And that's it. Your APs are configured and the new firmware has been successfully loaded. Next, we'll be testing the DR9574 kit's MLO throughput performance. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates and test results. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching this firmware loading and uh, MLO configuration tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Wally Stack for more technical guides and hardware tutorials. See you in the next video.